Well, it's been a while. So today is another one of those new bike days. Although this one's a little different. This is, of course, the unboxing of a new Nuke Proof Scout 27.5. Looking at the top of the box at a glance, it tells you everything you're going to need. Or maybe, like I said, this is a little different, so I might need a little more stuff. And the reason I say that is because I didn't buy an entire complete bike. I just bought the frame. And once it's out of the box, we can actually see what we got and what we have to work with. The reason I went with a 27.5 though is because I can reuse a lot of the same stuff that I had on the Mongoose Ledge X1 and just build this bike for the cost of the frame. Of course, I probably will upgrade certain things here and then later on, but it's nice to know that all I have to worry about is just moving things from one bike to another. But before I do that, it's always good to look at the bike and see what you got. At a glance, there's a lot to like about this frame. It's aluminum, which all of my other bikes are aluminum too. It keeps the cost down, and I don't really feel the need to update the carbon because it's just an expense that I can't justify right now. I do like how these wires are externally routing because it makes mounting things, replacing things a lot easier. I also like the way this nuke proof silver lettering stands out and the metallic blue frame also makes it pop in a way that I really dig about this bike. The head tube also looks pretty dope and it's something I can really enjoy going down the trail. There's a couple areas that I would like to touch on and things on like, but first I'll have to take all this extra packaging off. Honestly, they did a really good job making sure the bike was going to be in one solid piece with no dings or dents. Along with the bike, this box actually came with everything that I would need for the frame, including the bearings, the seat post clamp, some zip ties to put some cables together, and these rubber hose to keep any internally routed dropper posts from making any noise. It's pretty cool, but I don't know if I'm going to use it just yet. And with the last of the styrofoam coming off, I can go into detail about some of the other things that I like about this bike. For starters, I like this chain stay protector. A lot of bikes have a sticker that you put over there, but this keeps chain noise to a minimum and it looks good doing it. Another thing I like are these bolts for any bash guards. On my Marin San Quentin, they came painted. These aren't painted. Now that's not a huge deal, but if you were trying to thread a tiny bolt in there, it's going to get caught up in the paint and it's just not going to thread that easy. Another thing I like is this SRAM Universal Derailleur Hanger, meaning replacing a derailleur hanger won't be that expensive and it won't be hard at all. Honestly, this means that I could even mount the SRAM AX transmission that everyone's talking about. Of course I won't because that's too expensive. On a side note, it's nice to note that the bearings for the head tube came with the bike, so that's not an extra expense you have to worry about down the road. And it even came with the rubber garments for the actual internal routing. So I'll have the option to decide, do I want the hole there or do I want it plugged up? I'm actually a big fan that they also included the star nut because it's going to need a fork eventually. And because I know everyone's going to ask if I don't do this, one of the last things I'm going to do is weigh the bike. But I will point out that this is, for anyone wondering, a size large frame. And it weighs in at 5.24 pounds, which it could seem like a lot, but it's not too bad. Honestly, I really like the bike. I feel like I can make this work, and I hope that you stay tuned for next time when I actually build the bike. Now, the first time I build it, I'm going to use spare parts lying around the house, but eventually I will upgrade certain things here and there to my liking. Until then, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time, and I can't wait to start building this bike.